What up, dude, bro? Spider Benjamin Miller. Today, I'm looking at an all time classic in the Mega Series. The very first Mega Blaster ever to release, the Mega Centurion, a bolt action magazine fed sniper rifle. So, let's get into it. Now, before we get into the rest of the review, I want to reiterate this isn't a brand new one. I bought this used for $12, so it doesn't come with every single accessory, and there's some flaws that I'll go over in my opinion. External OV of the blaster starting up at the front. There is no end strike barrel lug. This is a mega blaster. There's not, I think there's only one end strike attachment that could actually fit a mega dart through its barrel. And I think that's like the Spectre barrel. Down below, we do have a long tactical rail. This is used for a bipod. The Centurion did come with a bipod. I don't have this. I want to reiterate, I bought this used at Goodwill for $12. We got two sling points, one here, one here. Back behind me, do have a jam door to get in there. You can just open that. That can clear out jams and malfunctions. I've not had a jam or malfunction with this thing. And I've heard a few had jams before, but again, mine hasn't yet. So I'm actually quite thankful for that. And down below, we do have the magazine. You do not have to prime back the blaster to remove the magazine, but I have had a few catching problems because essentially it can gravity drop just fine. However, if you're going to actually do it, you're going to have to try to keep your hand on there included is a six round mega style magazine and this is cross compatible with the moto strike mag and also the busby mags but come on a uh, 10 rounder and a sniper rifle get out of here that's just and then back behind we do have another tactical rail which can fit awesome accessories and if it's a sniper rifle then come on it it's got to have a scope it's got to have that scope for that epicness. And then down below, we do have the bolt itself. Uh, again, to reiterate, I got this used because you can see here, one's broken off. And I only have the left one. To prime, you do that. And then it was you to fire once. The prime action is very smooth. It feels really cool to pull this back and to put it forward. But something that's really cool about this is it has a really realistic kind of recoil feel, but that's just because of the bolt system in here. So you can watch this. As you see, as you prime it back, the bolt grabs the dart, and then when you fire it, it releases. And it gives a nice recoil feel of just like a, like a big heavy caliber sniper, which is really cool. Down to the trigger itself. The trigger pull is very nice, and the blaster does not have slam fire. And then now down to the grip itself. The grip's very comfy on this. It's of course inherited by the thumb hole stock so it's a little cramped in there but it's not like the worst grip like i could use it very well and i do like the little finger troil in the grip as well and now back behind we do have another sling point one here and at the bottom and now back to the stock this is a fix in place non-adjustable non-removable stock and you would think that'd be uncomfortable but for me i i don't know i, I think it's because i don't like the thunderhawk stock and this is actually like not a bad stock for me, but that is an external overview of the Nerf Mega Centurion. Now I will show you firing. Starting off with just regular Mega Darts. Well, firing the Mega Centurion is, of course, a very fun experience, and it, it's just, it's a blast. Like, I I don't know what how to feel about it. It's just it's a very nice emotional blaster. Now, uh, Chrono Data, mine's gonna be a little weird, so 
the mega average was about 80 FPS on some days and then 70 in some areas like that. And I've seen so many people chronograph this at about 80 to 75 FPS. I unfortunately was getting only an average of about 45 feet per second, which is very weird. But again, I need to reiterate that I did get this used and I could expect some kid probably left it like this for so long and didn't even try to fire it. So I'm a little forgiving on that. And again, that's way low the 70 FPS par we're usually expecting. But again, I think I have one that just been used for like so many years. Because again, reiterate, I bought this for $12. You can literally see the, uh, the price tag right there. But that is all the objective information I can provide on this blaster. Not in my personal opinion. Again, I've always I've always loved the Mega Series, and the Mega Centurion is a very fun blaster. I've always wanted to have one because I've always seen how much fun this is. Now, this is a very fickly blaster. Again, it is way too large and it's way too long of barrel for any like precision and accuracy. And of course, it has its issues because, like I said. The bolt issue is definitely something that I've seen a lot of people complain on. And I'm personal, I don't really mind it too very much, but again, it's a little annoying for most parts, especially if you have a like a mag with worn out springs, which is why I didn't use my 10 rounder, because apparently my spring is starting to wear out, so I need to relube it inside so that I can uh, fix it up because it's still a great magazine. But overall, everything on this is pretty fun. Like again, the stock is a little short for some people, but for, for some reason for me, it feels okay. The thumb hole grip is a little weird. And again, it kind of comes down to like what purposes this has today. Not a whole lot. There's so many great snipers out there today to where it's like you don't really need to use this anymore. And again, I'm not trying to degrade it. I love the Mega Centurion. However, there's so many great snipers. And if you really want, there's literally a 3D printed sniper that is so much better than this in every way. But hopefully I've laid, I've laid out all the uh, knowledge you need to know if you want to actually purchase this. You can't really purchase this on Amazon anymore for cheap. So if you want to find these, you're going to have to go look in a Goodwill or an eBay. Just be cautious when you purchase one. Because again, the fact that mine's shooting about 40 FPS and this thing was supposed to shoot about 75. Uh, be cautious with who you buy these from. Just because you might get one that has a very weak spring and doesn't perform well. So just be very cautious on that regard. But that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching, dude bros. Much love. Blast on and stay tactical.